if R1 is equal to R2 and they are equal to R4 and all of them are equal to R and R3 is equal to 1.1 times R in the bridge circuit shown in the figure, then the reading in the ideal voltmeter connected between A and B is there are four options given and we are required to choose one correct option. When you look at the given network, you will find there is one bridge circuit and the opposite arms have the resistances R1, R4 and R2, R3. And whenever we have any bridge circuit, the first thing we do is to check if the bridge is in balanced condition or not. Therefore, we will check if R1 multiplied to R4 is equal to R2 multiplied to R3 or not. R1 is equal to R. R4 is also equal to R. R2 is equal to R. And R3 is equal to 1.1 times R. Therefore, we have R square as the value of R1 multiplied to R4 and we have 1.1 times R square as the value of R2 multiplied to R3 and this shows that they are not equal and therefore the bridge is not in balanced condition and hence potential at this point is not equal to potential at this point. VA is not equal to VB and therefore there will be some non-zero potential difference which will be shown by the voltmeter. Now for an instance just assume R3 is also equal to R. This makes R1 multiplied to R4 equal to R2 multiplied to R3 and in this situation the bridge is in balanced condition and potential here will be same as potential here that is VA will be equal to VB and therefore there will be zero potential difference between the two points and hence voltmeter will show the reading equal to zero volts but it is not the situation here and hence to find out the reading of voltmeter we need to find out potential VA and potential VB and once we have V and VB we can find out VAB which is VA minus VB. So let's move on to the solution of this problem. You can notice one thing in the question the voltmeter is ideal in nature and we know when the voltmeter is ideal then it offers infinite resistance to the current flow and therefore zero current will flow through the voltmeter. This means all the current flowing through R1 will flow through R3 as well. No current will flow through the voltmeter and therefore R1 and R3 will be in series and the same thing will be there in the case of R2 and R4 all the current flowing through R2 will flow through R4 as well no current will flow through the voltmeter so we can say that resistance R1 and resistance R3 are in series and we can say that resistance R2 and resistance R4 are in series. And we know in series combination the voltage division will take place. The voltage division will take place and therefore we can apply the voltage divider rule. We know how to use the voltage divider rule. And we will use the voltage divider rule first in case of this series combination of resistors. 
and we have two options either we can calculate the voltage across R1 or we can calculate the voltage across R3 let's say we are calculating the voltage across R1 then it will be equal to 10 volts minus VA 10 volts minus VA and when we calculate the voltage across R3 then it will be equal to VA minus 0 which is equal to VA so if we calculate voltage across R3 we will directly get VA which we want therefore we will apply the voltage divider rule in order to calculate the voltage across R3 and we know from the voltage divider rule the voltage across R3 will be equal to the total voltage across the series combination which is 10 volts multiplied to resistance R3 which is equal to 1.1 times R 1.1 times R divided by the sum of two resistances which is R plus 1.1 times R this will give you 2.1 times R when you solve it you will get V sub R3 which is VA is equal to 5.238 5.238 volts now we will focus on calculation of potential VB and to calculate VB we will calculate the voltage across resistance R4 and we can see that voltage across R4 is equal to VB minus 0 so voltage across R4 is equal to VB and from the voltage divider rule it will be equal to 10 multiplied to R4 which is R then divided by R2 plus R4 which is R plus R when you solve it you will get VB equal to 5 volts now to calculate VAB we will subtract VB from VA so VAB equal to 5.238 minus 5 so finally we are getting VAB equal to 0 0.238 volts so option A is the correct option the voltmeter will read 0 0.238 volts now when you look at the actual paper of gate 2005 you will find in place of R4 there is R3 and in place of R2 there is R4 and in place of R3 there is R2 so this is the arrangement and following this arrangement you will get option C as the correct option but I have changed the arrangement and with this arrangement we are getting option A as the answer so this is all for the question now we will move on to the homework problem and the homework problem is taken from gate 2004 electrical paper and in this problem you are required to find the value of resistance R in ohms this is resistance R try to find out its value and once you have your answer, post it in comment section.